Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and it is eclipse month. That is a big deal. We will welcome in two eclipses. Now, because it's eclipse month, of course, the veil between the worlds is especially thin. That period between eclipses is when the ancient said it was that much easier to access the wisdom of your ancestors and your own higher wisdom as well. Now for you, the first eclipse that takes place is happening right around the third. It is a solar eclipse, which means a new moon, new opportunities, new perspectives happening in your daily life. In some way, your daily life is going to get a lot more busier. Uh, there will be an abundance of opportunities, but also an abundance of responsibilities as well. Now, it's that responsibility part, not always the easiest thing. Some uh, Aquarians do better with it than others. Uh, you have two ruling planets. So one ruling planet is Saturn. Uh, it is the Saturnian Aquarians that actually embrace responsibility a little bit more easier than the Uranian Aquarians, uh, who like to be a little bit more of a free spirit regardless of where you fall on that. Uh, know that it is this solar eclipse that can bring new workplace opportunities. It can bring new people into your sphere as well, uh, new clients, customers, coworkers, immediate supervisors, especially female, given that this eclipse is happening in what the ancients considered a feminine sign. So yes, new females can enter your life at this time, and they in some way become part of how you are living your life. Uh, there is some sense of regular interaction with them, at least over this eclipse season period. Now, as we uh, embrace this eclipse energy, um, keep in mind that the day after the eclipse, Venus moves into this part of the sky. That's going to allow you to maximize blessings here. But what we are also going to have happen is Mercury retrograde this month. And especially in the later part of the month, Mercury will retrograde in this part of your sky. And so this to me just heightens that sense of there's a lot to do. With that eclipse standing across Saturn, that sense of not only responsibility, but the weight of it, you may be feeling that, uh, that sense and awareness of time, and how limited time there may be to actually do what it is that you are feeling inspired to do can be part of this energy as well. However, we have Neptune speaking in supreme harmony with this eclipse, and that tells me that you are hopeful, you are inspired, and that Neptune provides an almost magical quality for what becomes possible for you. Now, this isn't only about work, okay? This is also about your habits, your rituals, um, your health-related habits as well are covered here. And this can be an exceptional time for making changes on those fronts. You may find yourself making changes on a level of your habit. Um, where it comes to your health, some adjustment allows you to feel that much better, that much quicker. And there's a sense now with this that you are being made stronger, more essential, but in a way that allows you to feel hopeful about the future. But in order to get there, there's that Saturn giving you a reality check and where it is that you could feel better in your body, where it is that you could be doing things differently for yourself to experience a greater sense of well-being, well, you may have to look at that as well as part of moving you towards the changes that ultimately will empower you most. Now, as we navigate to the middle of the month, it's right around the 18th that we are going to have the lunar eclipse. This is a very strong lunar eclipse. It is happening hand in hand with Saturn close in the sky with Pluto and the South Node. Now that energy in and of itself is very intense. Uh, it is an energy of absolute transformation. 
But we've also got a harmonious connection to Neptune happening with this configuration, which tells me that there's every reason for hope. And you can see the benefits very quickly of what is changing. Well, with this eclipse energy taking place, this uh, is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with karmic closures. It has to do with closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters. The south node can represent these qualities as well. And then it's a lunar eclipse, which can also represent that sense of karmic closure. So you can see here that something, some important chapter is coming to a close for you at this lunar eclipse. And I do feel as I look at this energy that a part of this is deeply connected to what is happening with that solar eclipse. It is these new opportunities that could find you that can change the way you live your life on an everyday level that will lend themselves to some change whose time has come. The thing is with this, I would invite you to be open. With eclipses in general, they tend to work best when they come by surprise. It's that realization that might have been there all along, that might have been in front of your face all along, but just now becomes more evident to you. Well, that's part of what is possible with this. And there's a sense with this that as you are changing your life in some fundamental way, and what is life anyways besides what it is that you repeatedly do, as you change your habits and what you're doing day in and day out in some way, well, that in and of itself is lending itself to some deep sense of where it is that you are ready to put some situation, some scenario in the past. But whatever it is that changes now, whatever it is that leaves your life now, let it. It is good. It is time. It is right. Because next month is a huge month for you. We're going to have a full moon in your sign. We're going to have a new moon in your opposite sign. And so that does suggest a huge focus on you and the new and the next coming in through other people, as well as you coming into a full realization of all that there is to celebrate about you. So I'll talk about that next month and as we go along. But bringing it back to these eclipses, yeah, they matter. They matter in the context of this bigger picture of this year in particular. But it is ultimately that lunar eclipse that I think in some way as well is going to provide you with some sense of cleansing on a level of soul and psyche and spirit. And that is part of what makes it especially valuable. Where it comes to matters of love, as you start the month right out of the gate, Mars moves into your opposite sign. This makes another person that much more of a focus for you. This energy will take you right into the middle of next month, so it's going to be with you for a little while. But what tends to happen under this is that if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, well, you feel just a little bit more bold, a little bit more courageous. You are that much more willing to go out there and make a connection happen for yourself. There's a desire to connect with others that you can feel viscerally so. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, if you've just started dating someone, this is where it feels like they become that much more important to you, that much more of a focus. And in some way, you may feel as if you are needing to give more energy to this person, possibly because they're just around more. And for those of you who are in an established bond, uh, this can be a very powerful time. Again, it can feel as if your partner needs more energy from you, so they take on a, a greater focus for you and in your life. But the other part of this as well is that with Mars in your opposite sign, sometimes this can lend itself to a moment, perhaps just one moment, uh, where the frustration is strong, okay? That's part of any relationship or just about any relationship, we should say. So yes, if you find yourself feeling frustrated with your partner, if uh, emotions start to rise with your partner, it really is okay. You will navigate it fully. But ultimately, what this energy is saying is that, yes, you may need to be more present for this person that you love, but in doing so, you will ultimately come to a new understanding of the power that you do have in this bond and also the power that you don't need to have, where it is that you can surrender that sense of any control over this other person. There's a lot of peace in that. 
And that's ultimately part of the great blessing that Mars provides. As we get to the very end of the month, uh, in the last few days of the month, Venus is going to join Mars in your opposite sign. That's when things really start to also feel like there is sweetness and softness and ease with this person that you love. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, but I am very hopeful and very excited for you. I feel like there is such tremendous possibility to feel like your life has changed. The way that you live your life on a day-to-day -day level, but also the way that you feel within, the way that you feel on a level of your energy. So whether it is physical, whether it is spiritual, you are prime for a transformation. And it is a change for the good, for the empowered, for the exciting. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.